Jared, did, did you, all you boys think that Marley run the car? Yeah, they stitched us up. Uh, Maz had told us that yeah, one of the boys kicked it. They'd get a car, so Marley first up. Just bang. So the boys got around him. It was pretty exciting, actually. <laughs> Threw him the keys and everything. He was about to drive off, and they were like, no, nah, just joking. <laughs> but um, no, nah, it's a good initiative by, the, by Mazda and the footy club to, um, to do the raffle and, and get a lucky fan to, to win, get a chance to win a million dollars. So um, we'll take that. If you had to pick someone to hit the post, would Marley have been it? I was going to say, it is now. <laughs> um, yeah, so no, nah, Marley's one of our better kicks, but um, I don't know who else. Who else got close? No one really, didn't they? We're yeah, the <laughs> one of them. Hit, yeah, he was milking. And then yourself, how'd you go, Jared? You get nah, no, close? no good. Um, just too uh, too attracted to the goals. You've got to practice. That's a, that's a set shot in the game. So nah, but um, nah, not not too bad at all. And it must have been pleased with the performance on the weekend to get five goals. I suppose you head into round one pretty full of confidence. Yeah, um, yeah, it's always good to sort of get on the end of a couple, especially that last game before round one. But um, yeah, also know that it's a long season and sort of want to play pretty consistent the whole year, this year. So um, yeah, it's, it's, as good as it is, sort of that would be better in the, in the real thing. You've just turned 34, how's the body feeling, Joe? Yeah, it's feeling all right. Um, it's, I'm a bit flat that Boomer's not here anymore because I used to be able to give him a bit of stick because he was the oldest, now everyone's giving me the stick. So um, no, nah, it's feeling all right, just got to manage it and um, had a good chat with Brad and, and the fitness staff to sort of work out the best possible outcome for me to play a full season and um, yeah that's sort of the plan now. So did you come up with a different program than in previous years? Um, I was just had a little real little chat but we'll probably have a sit down now because obviously um, it's not good only playing 10 or 12 games so I want to play a full season like the year before so we'll sit down with the fitness staff and, and go through it and, and have a good chat so yeah obviously Probably don't have to train as much as I once did when I was younger, so it's just probably managing my loads. Are you likely to perhaps be rested from certain games during the year? Do you think just to get you through that season? Uh, I don't. That hasn't been spoken about. It's probably just more training and and training smartly. Um, so yeah, that's probably the things we'll, we'll talk about. Do you feel that extra responsibility being that that elder statesman, I guess, in the forward line with Drewy gone? Um, oh, not so much. It's it's something probably when I was at the Blues that. I sort of was that older player there, so it's something that I'm, I've sort of been used to, and, and Drew and I sort of used to share it last year, so it's something that I've sort of done for the last few years now, but um, it's just, it's good, it's good seeing the young boys coming through and, and sort of giving them some information and, and seeing them sort of start to improve. You do things differently, I guess, with Drewy out, or does one of the younger blokes step into to his shoes, I guess? Uh, no, not so much differently. We sort of... I suppose the way we've, our forward line's been set up over the last few years, anyone that comes in sort of knows their role. So nothing much has changed. Um, got a young couple of young boys sort of coming in, so we've, they've probably had to work on a little bit more. But when, when season comes around, they'll be just fit in nicely. It was the hips that gave you problems in the second half of last year, Jared. Yep. But you've got those under control now? Yeah, so we sort of had the surgery, try to get right for the finals, but it wasn't quite there. So, but now fully, fully fit, was fully fit for the start of, round one, um, start of training. So. Yeah, all, all good, only sort of missed that Hawthorne JLT just to sort of get myself right and had two games and then, yeah, ready to go. Been a few injuries among the big boys in, in, in attack this pre-season, but yeah. it seems as though everything's coming together pretty well. Majak's sort of been back in, hopefully Ben Brown this week as well. Yeah, so I think Ben plan is to play Werribee this week, so sort of good timing for him and, and obviously Majak played the last two games, which has been really good for him. So, yeah, it sort of, we did have injuries, but sort of worked out really nicely. It's, they're, they're playing games before round one, um, but now it's up to the, uh, the coaches and the fitness staff to see where, which direction they sort of want to go with the boys. Them not being out on the track, does that, I guess, hinder you in any way in sort of getting that continuity together? Uh, no, I don't think so, because obviously Ben's played a lot of footy now, so he's, he knows his structure pretty well, and, and sort of good thing for Ben, he has a, in a way, he hasn't done a whole lot of pre-season, so he knows what what last few years. So when he comes around one, he sort of knows exactly what he's doing anyway. So he sort of fits in nicely. So it's just probably Madge just learning to sort of understand, just getting that touch back with Madge. So he's been working pretty hard on the last this week, and I know this week and next week he'll be working pretty hard on his touch, so he gets his timing right. One of the younger boys, Ben Mackay, got a taste this year. Uh, what can North fans expect out of him this year, do you think? I think uh, out of Ben, you'll just see a really good contest and he's got a really good pair of hands. So, um, yeah, really goes hard for the ball and, and sort of smashes the packs, which is what you want out of a big boy. Um, he's still pretty young and he's put on, I think, 
12 kilos since he got here, so starting to get some really broad shoulders on him. But no, it's going to be exciting for the club when he, him and um, even Nick Larkey sort of in his first years, once they sort of get up and about, they'll be very exciting. Just the bigger picture, are you treating this season like it could be the last go round? Are you reckoning? I treat every I treat every season like it's the last yeah. last one. So yeah, obviously my age and that that does come into mind and but um yeah I just I basically go out every game now just thinking this potentially could be your last. So um, whether that happens or not I don't know, but yeah, just just really looking forward to sort of having a good full season and, and that's that's, that's about it. Do you think that really brings out, I guess, the best out of you, knowing that you know, you're giving it that you're all in each and every one? Yeah, I've probably done it for the last few years, so um, yeah, hopefully. But um, yeah, it's just something that I suppose you don't want to get complacent because especially at any stage in your football career, it only takes one injury and you, that could be it. So it's probably more relevant now than it was. But um, yeah, it's just something that I've learned, I've tried to sort of deal with. And yeah, so that's how I'm going to play it. Thank <laughs> you.